Hey guys, Rapid here, and today I will be making a tutorial on how to make a uh, fog like you've seen in, for example, Tomahawk's clip, and which will be in my new clip. But let's not go into that now. With me, I have another editor, AM. Say hello. Hello. Yeah. So we'll just get started. Stop by recording, recording your clip and in CS or whatever you want, it can be anything. So I have like this simple 3K by Inflames here. So we're just gonna render it, by marking the clip. Go up to render as. Make sure that you ch choose either AVI or some kind of file format supported by um, Buju, which we are going to use. You can also choose a, a JPEG sequence, which will be more um, stable than a video format, but for this one, we're just going to choose AVI. So uh, I already have um, I already have uh, uh, the footage ready, so we're just going to import the sequence. So choose uh, the Inflames Tuscan 3K Deagle right here. Make sure it matches your frame rate which in my case will be 30 and press OK now uh, edit camera and we already have a camera set up so don't mind that track the features so go into advanced make sure everything is looks great so for this one we're just going to use a bit less and start the track and when you're done Press the camera solve button and and then at the end export it into a uh, uh, Maya project, which is the project that can be opened in After Effects. So you start by importing your Maya project, which will uh, look like this. Then you double click it, and it will open like this. You would ha have a bunch of null objects like this, which will be perfectly tracked to clip when you import it. So we're just going to import it like this, and you see here, everything is perfectly tracked. So the next thing you want to do is that you want to add a black solid. So just stop adding a black solid, doesn't matter the color, just make it. Then you can use the, any, particle, uh, any particle effect you want, but we're going to use particular. Part Particular. Just drag that on. So what we want to do is to make sure that everything is lined up perfectly. Everything is per as it should be. So go into your top view. Make sure that it's inside your project, which is here. You can see all the null objects. So go into both the top view and some other view and make sure everything lines up so we're going to change it here instead okay effect okay the comfort of the scene will do by the way Okay, so we're just gonna move this a bit up like this. So, every, so it's inside the project like that. And go into the active view again. You can see we have a bunch of particles here. As you may see, it's coming from about right in the middle there. So stop by taking the velocity down to zero. We don't want any velocity, so you can just see this ball here. Make sure all the velocities are set zero, like that, and make a bunch less particles, like ten or something. Which we'll just start with ten. Then to make sure that your particles are spawning instantly and not just appearing, like starting with almost nothing and just suddenly get very many, we we'll just drag the clip out and stretch it out like this. 
So now you see it's starting from the beginning. So, to make the particle uh, look like actual fog, now it just looks like a circle, we are going to use a clip from the Action Essentials pack, which is a smoke dust, smoke puff. So just bring it in here. So here we have a smoke buff, very simple. You can put it in the description if you want. Um, so just to disable the visibility on it, like that. And simply go into effects, particle. Um, when you come into particle type, go from spare to spread colorized. And it will look like this, it will disappear. So choose texture layer and choose the picture that we are going to use you will get a warning but never mind that if you have a decent computer it won't matter um, and now we can be begin to mess with the, the position of the of the particles so change uh, the emitter type from point to box so we have a box of um, particles there Change the emitter size to whatever the fuck you want, uh, something like this, and not too high. We want to keep it looking realistically, 50 maybe, and 200 probably, 200 or 20. And begin messing with the position of of the actual fog. So um, yeah. Just mess with stuff, change the position and stuff like that. I want to be here in the front, so we can kind of run through the smoke, which will look kind of cool. So as you see, the fog is not looking pretty good at the moment, but we're going to, going to change that. So we start by dragging the size of it up to 20 something, maybe not that much, 15. Still looks ugly, Let's change the size of randomness to 100. And maybe change the size a bit more, 20, probably, yeah. And go with the opacity, change it to 70 maybe. The random up to 100, so you have a nice random, random smoke puff like this. And you can also set the color if you want. So for this, we'll probably want some yellowish color, like this, to blend nice with the background. Color random, you can choose whatever you want. Get it a bit random here. And if you want, you can choose screen, but it's preferable not to choose anything there. Um, the life, you would probably make it a bit longer. Smoke just suddenly just don't appear out of nowhere. So make it 10 long maybe. And maybe make the count, particle count a bit less, like 8. So now we have some smoke here up in the roof. And as you see, you can see the smoke is suddenly appearing out of nowhere, which looks really weird. So uh, we will make a, go into a opacity of life under a particle and change it to this nice curve here. So a nice curve of how the particles are going to appear. So it doesn't, doesn't just suddenly appear out of nowhere. So when you have it like this, you can just continue messing with the settings until you have it right. And yeah. So something else you probably want to consider is the visibility tab here, which makes the particles that are that are far away fade out. So it can be really useful. And you can also do the same for near particles. So if you want the particles to fade out when they're near, you can do that. Like 10 to 50 maybe. Let's, we'll just keep them low to 50, something like that. And yeah, I'll probably move mine a bit, a bit down. So they're kind of on the ground, which looks great. So when you're done with that, just render it, and we'll get back into Sony Vegas afterwards.
Yeah, um, well, the thing now is that you can see the smoke here. It's looking pretty good. You can run through the smoke and you see everything is perfectly tracked. But we have one small problem. Um, the smoke is also over the deal, which doesn't look very realistic. But we are going to fix that. So, uh, what you want to do is that you want to have a copy of your original layer here. Place it over and make sure that everything lines up perfectly. Okay, so now we have two layers on top of each other which are exactly the same. The one with dust and the other with, without. So what you want to do now is that you want to mask a bit out here. Because you want to keep some of the fog on the deal. So we don't have to do it too accurate. So just go into the pancro button here. Uh, you can do this in After Effects too. It's you can do it wherever you choose. Whoops! <laughs> and then you just simply cut out the part of the deal here. Whoops! Something like this. You get a nice curve here. And like that. Make sure it the mask is set to subtract, so or negative as it is in something else. So it cuts out this part. Or actually we should set it to positive because we are actually going to cut out the part of this. So but you can do it the other way around too. You can cut out this part and have this one visible under. Then you have to set it to negative. Then just feather it out a bit, both ways, and feather it maybe a lot, like 20 or something. So now we have a nice, nice fade here, which maybe is a bit too weak. We can drag this up a bit. Just mess with, mess with the settings. Don't have to. Don't have to be too accurate. Just. Um, Make sure it looks great. Something like this, maybe. Yeah. So that's it. You have now motion tracked smoke to uh, to smooth. So uh, I don't know. Do you have anything to say in your? I just want to say that this is a pretty good way to adding smoke into your scenes instead of just adding an overlay. Yeah, I really recommend using it. Yeah, it's, it looks much better. But um, yeah, so um, we're going to make a bit more tutorials later on more uh, I don't know advanced stuff. It's not really too advanced, but it's kind of it's kind of cool to know, and you can use it pretty much any time. And it's not really too hard. So um, we'll see you guys later, okay? Bye. Bye. Say bye. In fact, say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.